I'm going to start this review off by stating the obvious, and that is, if you're looking at Rock Band, you probably already have Guitar Hero. Um, and it really cannot be helped but to compare the two games, especially the guitar part of the game. Now, Rock Band features the Stratocaster guitar, which is basically the Guitar Hero guitar right down to the five buttons. It has five additional buttons which are usable only in solo parts. And the only really nifty feature about that is that during the solos you don't have to pick if you use these buttons down here. If you use these up here during the solos, you have to strum. Don't have to down here. However, that's pretty much useless because almost every song in the game gives you no time to switch between up here and down here. So you might as well uh, pick or strum throughout the entire song. Because this is freaking useless! Other than that, the Stratocaster guitar is pretty neat. It takes some getting used to because the picking, it doesn't click loudly, so you have to kind of get a feel for it after a while. Whammy bar is much improved. Uh, the Guitar Hero whammy bars kind of like to wimp out, uh, or they aren't calibrated right, like uh, like this one is, and I have to I have to press it in really hard and then like lightly release in order to get a good whammy on that. So that's one strength that the uh, that Rock Band has over Guitar Hero is overall better instrument construction, and I know that some people are going to disagree with me, and that's fine. What Rock Band really brings to the table are the other instruments. Microphone, whee! And, of course, the drums. The drums are the sweet spot of Rock Band. Because their execution is bloody brilliant. You get a note chart flying across the screen, just like you do in Guitar Hero. And you would think that it would feel really weird, but it's not. Because it's got four colors coming at you on the screen. You have four different drums, and you have the uh, bass pedal. Now the bass pedal comes across you as a line, okay? So the bass pedal comes at you like that, and then the notes come at you in a, uh, you know, in, in a, a row. So that's, that's pretty well done. Um, it's also very challenging, especially if you're used to Guitar Hero, and as I said earlier, odds are you are if you're interested in Rock Band. So let's talk about the guitar part in Rock Band. Because we really shouldn't talk about the vocal part, because it sucks. The guitar part in Rock Band is way easier than it ever was in Guitar Hero. Alright? If you were to compare difficulties, Expert Mode in Rock Band is almost as difficult as Hard Mode in Guitar Hero. Uh, so if you're one of those Shred Masters, you're going to be a little disappointed until maybe the last couple of sets and the last song, which is a nice, kind of nice, return to uh, some challenge. It kind of swings between, uh, if we were to put this on the scale of things you want to say to uh, harmonics, it swings between, hey, that's a little bit more challenging than it should have been, and fuck your game. Rock Band except for the drums, is a little bit underwhelming when you play alone. If you play it with other people, though, it's about the most fun you can have in front of your TV. So if I were to rate it, which I am, I would give Rock Band four-fifths of a Wookiee.